Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? Have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Well, he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. Oh, uh, uh, hi there. What's the matter? Nothing good on the radio? Mind your beeswax, kid. Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. You don't turn that crap!
Sounds the door. It's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Why? My name's Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, we all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Uh, follow me. Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want to load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Might not be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. 
Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it into Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Thanks. Appreciate your cooperation. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe and you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. Here's your fucking money. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Kick his ass! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Anybody else? Got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? This guy already paid. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Say hello to your mother for me. 
Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. Hey, Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. That's all I got for today. Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit? Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shit all. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hiya, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen. I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I sent you. 
All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got beef. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back in, we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. luck, Vito. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. He said you might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Price Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're gonna be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, all right? I seen the way you kids drive these days. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get into the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay, so I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful, there's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. Alright kid, drop me at the hospital right here. 
The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you. Any plans for the weekend? Yeah, gonna relax and watch me some television. Well, you bought a television? I sure did. Man, those things cost as much as a car. How the hell did you afford it? Mary's Uncle Lou passed away a few months back, left us some cash. And you bought yourself a television with it. This is the director's office. This is where the key should be. All right, here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. So what does Mary think of it? 
Empire Bay Police Department. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. If you do not surrender immediately, we will open fire. Seven-inch black and white screen gets all three channels. Wow, sounds fascinating. What, you mean you ain't gonna get one? I'll stick with my newspaper and with my radio, thank you very much. This television's just a fad. We'll see about that, sonny. Yeah, so what does Mary think of it? Empire Bay Police Department. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. If you do not surrender immediately, we will open fire.
the Empire Bay Police Department. We have you surrounded. Follow your hands up. If you do not surrender immediately, we will open fire. Surrender immediately, we will open fire! <laughs> 